Hello student of grade 10, we'll do exercise um, 3.2 question number 4. I'll do all the questions in the same video. Which of the following pairs of the linear equations are consistent or inconsistent? If consistent, obtain the solution graphically. Now before knowing this, you have to know that when it is inconsistent, if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 and not equal to c1 by c2, that is no solution inconsistent. And in these two situation, if a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2, it has unique solution, so consistent. If everything is same also, infinite many solution consistent. So, we are going to do 1, 2, 3, 4 in the same video. First, let's do 2 and 4. Because 2 and 4 is inconsistent, we don't have to draw a graph. Now, question number 2 is like that. A1, I'm writing B1 is minus 1, C1 is 8. A2 is 3, B2 is minus 3, and C2 is 18. So what we're doing, a, finding A1 by A2, that means 1 by 3. B1 by B2 means minus 1 by minus 3. If I cancel, I get a, 1 by 3. And C1 by C2, 8 by 16, I'm getting 1 by 2. So these two value is same, this is not same. Condition is A1 by A2 equal to B1 by B2, not equal to C1 by C2. That means this condition, no solution, so inconsistent. No solution inconsistent. F number 4 also is same. They have given the equation I wrote in standard form. Given the equation wrote in standard form. A1, B1, C1. 2, 2, 2. Sorry, 2 minus 2, 2. And A2, B2, C2. A2 is 4, B2 is minus 4. C2 is 5. I am finding A1 by A2, I am getting half. B1 by B2, after cancelling, I am getting half. And C1 by C2 is 2 by 5. So these two is same and third one is not same. Same, third one is not same. It has no solution, so inconsistent. We don't have to draw a graph. Clear? Let's go to the first question, 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. X plus Y equal to 5. 2X plus 2Y equal to 10. We are putting the value, uh, finding A1, B1, C1. So 1, 1, 5. A2, B2, C2. That means 2, 2, 10. We're finding a1 by a2 half b1 by b2 half c1 by c2 after putting the value also uh, 5 by 10 right 5 by 10 if i cancel i get half so everything is same means everything is same means it has infinite solution if it has infinite solution it is consistent that means i have to draw a graph so infinite solution means consistent That means we have to draw a graph. So take equation 1, x plus 5 equal to, or x plus y equal to 5. Splitting x, uh, y is going on the other side. Now we'll find the value of x by putting y. If I put 1, 5 minus 1 is 4. If I put 2, 5 minus 2 is 3. If I put 0, 5 minus 5, 5 minus 0 is 5. Let's take second equation, 2x plus 2y equal to 10. So we are finding x 10 minus 2y by 2. Clear? If I take 1, see, x equal to 10 minus 2y by 2. If I take 1, 10 minus 2 into 1 by 2, you'll get 10 minus 2 by 2. 8 by 2 means 4. I get 4. If I put 3, 10 minus Four, uh, 10 minus 3, 2 times is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. I'll get 2. Clear? And if I put uh, 2, I get 3. Now we'll plot this point in the graph. First is x is 4, 1. So I'm just plotting the graph. 4, 1 is here. For the first equation, uh, 3 is 2. 3 is 2. Then uh, 5 is 0, 5 is 0. So that we can make a line here. Let's plot the second point also. 4 is 1, 4 is 1, same point. 2 is 3, 2 is 3. So it's coming here. 2 is 3, 4 is 1, uh, 2 is, sorry. 3 is 2 and 5 is 0. If I put, put this point 3 is 2, same point, so we're getting only one single line. Clear? 
infinite solution means you'll get only one single line so we have represent the graph then we cannot find the value of x and y because it has infinite number value of x and infinite value of y that's why we're getting single line only after plotting this two point also let's go to the um, third question a, to, this is the equation i wrote in standard form so a1 b1 c1 is 2 1 6 a2 b2 c2 is 4 minus 2 4 after putting the value a1 by a2 is 1 by 2 and b1 by b2 is 1 by minus half these two are not same if these two are not same means it has unique solution c if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 it has unique solution means consistent that means you will have only one value of x and one value of y let's take equation one 2x plus y equal to 6 we're uh, separating y we're getting x minus 2x in place of x you put value if i put one see y equal to 6 minus 2x so 6 minus 2 equal to 4 we get 4 if i put 2 in a similar way 2 into 2 is 4 6 minus 4 is 2 if i put 3 i'll get 0 let's solve the second equation second equation is 4x minus 2y equal to 4 so 4x minus 2y equal to 4 i can cancel throughout by 2 then i am finding out the value of x 2x equal to y minus plus 2 x is y plus 2 y these two comes down put the value now if i put 0 i'll get 1 oh sorry if i put 0 in place of y i'll get 1 in place of y if i put 2 i'll get 2 if i put 4 in place of y if i put 4 i'll get 3 clear yeah. 4 plus 2 is 6 and if you cancel by 2 i'll get 4 now plot this point in the graph for the first graph 1 is 4 1 is 4 uh, 2 is 2 2 is 2 uh, 3 is 0 so first graph is that you can draw a line let's draw the second graph 1 is 0 1 is 0 means here 2 is 2 means here and 3 is 4 3 is 4 it's here so you can draw a line here they're intersecting unique solution means they will intersect always you can write the point 3 is 0 this is uh, 1 0 this is 2 2 this is 3 4 this is 1 4 uh, this line is for second equation you can write here 4x minus 2y equal to 4 and this is for the first equation you can write the equation here uh, 2x plus y equal to 6 now since they are meeting at this point you can take p you can write here since the lines at p 2 2 therefore x also will be 2 the first value and y also will be 2 you can pause the video to write the solution in the graph also. Thank you.